I'm in many pulpits in the course of a year. And I've been in some very special pulpits. I've preached in John Calvin's pulpit. I've preached in John Knox's pulpit. I've preached in James Montgomery Boyce's pulpit. I've preached in R.C. Sproul's pulpit. I've preached in a lot of special pulpits. There is no pulpit more special to me than this pulpit. Because of the one who has stood here for almost 50 years. I first came to a shepherd's conference in 1982 as a very young man, um, having just begun my first pastorate. The shepherd's conferences were so small, we met in the chapel back then. And how God worked in my life through what I heard has been life-changing. And I'm always mindful of that when I am able to stand in this pulpit. I've carried an influence for 34 years. I believe that the host of our conference is the premier expositor of our generation. And he's been the leading influence in my life in preaching. And on top of that, he has been such a friend to me. Uh, No one has been more encouraging and more loyal and supportive to me outside of my own family than John MacArthur. So I'm very thankful to stand here. And Conrad, I I have to say your sermon. I I, I feel something like Isaiah in Isaiah 6. That I'm a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of glory. So thank you for that explosion that went off in this pulpit just a short time ago.